How Africa is Portrayed in Western Media When reporting on, communicating, or disseminating anything about Africa, Western media organizations especially use to dump unfavorable news materials and information. About 700 million people live in 54 countries, representing unfathomable mega-economic, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious groups for non-Africans. These people's lives are constantly disparaged. Insatiable Western consumption threatens Africa's ecosystem and enormous natural richness, which is hardly accessible to its native populace. Welcome back to Quick Information Post, the number one online information post that is there to help you understand your world better. In case it's your very first time in this channel please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any of this amazing content. The metropolises of Europe, Japan, and North America's consumers are unaware of or uninterested in this product, despite the fact that the USA alone uses nearly 60% of the world's resources yet only makes up 4% and it is 1% of global population. The African, her continent, and her descendants are disparagingly portrayed as a hotbed of disease, cruelty, and poverty with the simple stroke of a journalist's pen. These universal but potently subliminal message units are broadcast to viewers around the world on television, and they convey negative connotations such as persistent unworthiness, deplorability, blackness, foreboding, hatred, subhumanity, etc. Contrarily, nothing is written about Africa's strategic significance to so-called industrialized countries, her indispensable nature and relevance to world development, global technology, and the riches of countries acquired through involuntary African generosity are not praised in the media. The vague news narrative holds that America must safeguard her strategic interests and national security. Western industrial capacity would shrivel up like a raisin in the sun without access to certain raw materials from Africa. Even little is said in the media or elsewhere about the enormous amount of African artwork and crafts that are exported. The representation of Africa in the Western media is not a self-portrait. You don't always get what you see. References to Africa are occasionally viewed with contempt and derision because media indoctrination monopolizes, forms, and shapes those images. Even people of African descent with little to no cultural competency are able to influence how the world perceives Africa. They support the stereotypes that the media presents in articles, datelines, specials, and episodes of Nightline out of embarrassment for their history and historical past. Even though this mindset is really unsettling, it also helps the media denigrate Africa, as if they needed help. Naturally, when their lands were targeted for annexation and foreign dominance and control, indigenous peoples in America like the Cherokee, Apache, Lenape, etc. they experienced something. Continuously painting Africa in a negative light only serves to reinforce ignorance in a world that is more in close proximity than ever before and a media sector that lives on the bad. The Western media's distorted and negative portrayal of Africa permeates the human psyche, predicts actions, implies worthlessness, ignores African humanity, and devalues the mind, while weakening human spirituality and connectivity, essential elements in fair global wealth distribution. Do media companies have accountability for their creations, in Shelley's words? What standard of journalistic excellence is required to produce fair, impartial, and balanced coverage of events taking place anywhere in Africa? Because the method is so well established, so easily adaptable to news coverage, and for using a local or provincial perspective. Last but not least, I'm curious as to why the Western media has invested so much time and effort into portraying Africa negatively. The truth is that the continent's natural resources, strategic metals, and mineral resources have a substantial impact on the economies of many countries, including America, Japan, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. White supremacy is the cause of the ongoing denigration of Africa and, implicitly, of its people home and in the diaspora. This practice must be put an end to by those who are so harmed by it. We appreciate your time.